No. Not the way March is right. Not yet. I, I think we start getting there today, though. Aided by a little bit of sunshine, a little breezy today. We didn't quite get above freezing yesterday. We were close. Close. I do think we're going to get there today. In fact, it's interesting. We're only a couple of degrees off from our high yesterday. 27 now. South wind at 11, starting to pick up a little bit. And so you do feel the chills a bit. 17. It's chilly. We're not as frigid, though, as where we were over the holiday weekend. And we'll continue to climb that ladder here. 30 in Muncie. 27 currently in Columbus and Madison. 28 in Bloomington. Likewise in Fort Wayne. 27 Kokomo and South Bend to get going here on a Wednesday. A cloud cover overhead. Um, I think it will start to break up. I think it's worth mention also. Uh, a little bit of fog, certainly possible this morning. I don't think we'll have as much as yesterday. We didn't have a ton. Um, and I don't worry about the uh, freezing aspects of that as well. I think we're going to see those numbers improve pretty quickly as we start rolling through the day. In fact, I think we'll see some of those clouds breaking up as we progress through your Wednesday. We hit 29 officially for your high yesterday. Again, now the countdown continues. Five days, 11 hours, five minutes since the last time we were above freezing. This will, I mean, we'll tack on a few more hours here, but this should end later on this afternoon with some very mild air coming in for this time of year anyway. 30 at 8 o'clock. By around lunchtime, I think you get some breaks in the clouds. We're up to 39, and we're going to go with highs in the mid-40s. How about 45? for your afternoon high, and that's nearly 10 degrees above average for this time of year. I think we're warmer tomorrow. Also note the wind's kind of picking up here a little bit. We're up to 49 by lunchtime and 53 for your Thursday afternoon. I do think you're going to see a lot more in the way of cloud cover. Temperatures are going to hold to be fairly mild here for the long term, it appears. Now, Thursday is going to be the warmest day. Most of the day will be dry. 50 then on Friday and 52 on Saturday, so a little bit of a setback there, but still well above average, but you're going to have Several rain opportunities there in that two-day stretch. New Year's Day, I think, will ring in the new year with dry conditions and slightly cooler temperatures. But again, above average. Very busy pattern here coming up, though. We've got a couple of waves that are going to be coming in from the south. I think as early as very late tomorrow night, we could get a few brief showers here and there. But more widespread as we get deeper into the overnight and into early Friday morning. I think the Friday morning drive certainly could be wet. Or if you're going to be doing some traveling for the holiday weekend, this is a very soggy look at noon on Friday. This is wave number one. We get another wave coming in. This is at midnight on Saturday and more widespread rain settling in now. I'm cautiously optimistic that we catch some breaks. Maybe if you're going to be heading out for dinner New Year's Eve, we're going to have another system kind of riding in here that may make your New Year's Eve night plans a little bit soggy as that system will kind of work on through, so be aware of that. I do think your New Year's Day, however, gloomy, but it should be dry. 52 for Saturday and 49 will be your high to kick off the new year. And the pattern remains pretty busy as we open up the new work week here and heading back to school for some kiddos on Monday, but very mild. Scattered showers, 57, may see some of this rain arriving later in the day. Rain looks a bit more likely for Tuesday, 54, and only a little setback for the middle of next week. Wednesday, partly cloudy skies and highs in the upper 40s. Looks good, Mark.